If you want a faster scooter, there's nothing more important than installing a tack on or a tachometer on your bike. And this tack is what you need to tune your bike. The install is pretty simple as you can see it's basically just a digital um, scale and a piece of wire with no ends to it and all you want to do you don't have to take apart anything or well, you might have to take apart your fairing but you see here there's no ending to the wire all you have to do is take this piece of wire and wrap it three times maybe four times around your spark plug wire and that's all and just connect your tack somewhere safe and it should start reading right so the install is pretty simple the price is pretty cheap and it's a definitely must have for scooter tuning if you want your bike to go faster so like I said earlier the install is pretty straightforward especially if you have uh, something like a Honda Ruckus where everything is exposed all you have to do is just wrap the wire around the spark plug coil um, put your tack somewhere safe and you're good to go. For a bike like this though, um, where there's more plastic fairing or body parts, you would have to start taking apart a few parts to find where the spark plug is um, and route your wire safely so it will go all the way to your handlebars or somewhere where you can see without uh, while riding your bike um, and you should be fine. So it turns out to be a lot easier than I thought. All you, after you remove the belly fairing or whatever you call that, um, everything's exposed already, just like my Ruckus, my Honda Ruckus or Honda Sumer. So you can see here, this is the spark plug coil. So with the tack or your tachometer in hand, you want to grab the other side of the wire where it ends, right here and you want to wrap it around the spark plug coil and we know this is the spark plug coil because it is directly connected to the cylinder where the spark plug is there's only one wire that comes out if it's a one, one cylinder engine Okay, so everything's hooked up. The end, I put the battery into the tack. It should turn on when I press a button, just like that. So it tells you the hours. Um, that tells you how many hours your engine has been operating. It's just a maintenance minder. And then it will tell you your engine RPM when your engine is actually on. And there are a few settings. Um, by default, I think the standard model is um, once per revolution for spark plug firing. That would be correct for this engine because this is a two-stroke engine, so the spark plug fires every single time. Um, for a four-stroke engine, you would probably want it to the spark plug to fire every other revolution, so you would have to change your setting. Um, there's also other settings like spark plug fires twice per revolution. I'm not really sure um, for those settings, but just play around with it. You should see something, um, you know, reasonable. You, you shouldn't be seeing 10,000 RPM at idle, for example. That makes no sense at all. Um, usually these 50cc bikes will idle at around 2000 RPM so that would be a good baseline to check if you're, you've set the correct setting. Another way that you can check to see if your correct setting is um, that you've made a correct setting is for example like bikes with a RPM uh, limiter. Like for example the Honda Ruckus will limit the RPM at 9000 8,700 RPM I think or 8,800 RPM so you can put provided that your bike is warmed up already because you don't you don't want to be revving your bike while it's cold because that's pretty bad for the engine but once it's warmed up you can put your bike on the kickstand and rev it all the way to the rev limiter and see if your engine RPM reading on the tack is correct for this bike I don't know if there's really a RPM limit so I'm just gonna go with whatever is reasonable and see if it works so I'm going to start the bike now and see if it works.
Of course, my battery is dead, so I have to kickstart. So here you can see it's revving at 1600 RPMs. Seems kind of appropriate, but you can always play around with the settings to see what kind of options you have. So in order to change your setting, you will want to press the S1 button and hold it for 4 seconds. Oh sorry, when your engine is off. So let's turn it off. Hold the S1 button for 4 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is setting number 1 which is spark plug fires twice per revolution oh sorry guys you have to hold it it will keep cycling 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so setting 1 so you probably want setting number 2 once per revolution 1, 2, let go it will blink 3 times and then return to the total hour meter and that should be set Okay, so let's start it up again and see what it says. That was indeed the default setting, 1600 RPMs, we'll rev it a little, seems pretty correct to me. And there you go. Thank you for watching this video, hope you liked it and enjoyed it. Please like the video and subscribe, stay tuned for future installs and future mods of this bike.